so I'm back. Promise you that I was going to do two videos a week and I've stuck to my promise so far. If you've missed any of my videos, I have a look below and I'll link them. I'd love it if you could watch them. So today, I just thought, sticking to the theme of getting to know me a bit more, we're going to talk about health, fitness. I'm not going to have a ramble. Maybe I am going to have a bit of a ramble. I want to talk to you guys about the fact that you can eat carbs and you can still have abs. There's loads of hidden sugars in things. Um, I want to tell you about my mantra, about the fact that I eat loads and I eat more rather than eating less. It's all about eating better. I guess I just want to talk to you about that from a real girl's point of view. I'm not a trained professional. If you're looking for a trained professional, I'll link one of my friends below. She's awesome. Carly Arena, worth checking out. But if you're just wanting my point of view, this is kind of my mantra when it comes to health and fitness. So I'm going to talk through a few tips that should help you feel motivated this autumn because when it's cold it's so much harder to work out and the hardest thing to do is getting to the gym but once you're there it's fine. So I'm going to hopefully motivate you, make you feel better, make you want to work out and give you a few quick and easy tips and tricks that you can do that will make working out so much easier and also staying healthy easier. So let's go! Tip number one. So simple, drink water. I say it all the time. I don't do as much as I should do, but there's so many easy ways that we can do this. So my easiest way is to carry a bottle with me. I actually have a Brita bottle literally down there, which is amazing. It means that the water is always filtered and because I have this huge bottle of water in my bag, I have to drink it. So I'm all about kind of forcing myself to drink water. I know that waking up in the morning and having a pint of water with lemon juice is meant to be really good. It's great for your skin, hair, nails. It keeps you awake, it fills you up. I once heard that if you drink water when you're hungry, you, it kind of tricks your body because sometimes your body's like, well, am I just hungry or am I just thirsty? So try and drink more water. Number two, another basic one, but sleep more. I read in the Body Coach's book, I think, that if you don't get enough sleep, your body can't burn fat as efficiently. So if you need anything to turn, take you off your phone at night, then that should be it. Basically sleep more and hopefully your body should burn fat more efficiently. Yes. Number three is my biggest mantra ever, but this is simply how I think fitness should be. Move more, eat better, never eat less. I get people kind of messaging me all the time, showing me pictures of their food, and they'll be like, pasta sauces from the packet, and sugary cereal bars, and low-fat yogurt. Well, actually, I was once told that when something's low-fat, they put a lot more extra stuff in it. So just be careful, check the ingredients. That's not the same for every product, but a lot of things that I pick up in the supermarket, for example, cereal bars, actually are loaded with sugar. And it's so bad because you grab it in the supermarket and you think, I'm being healthy, I'm doing something really good, I'm not getting a chocolate bar, and you're putting so much sugar into your body. So the other day, I was really hungry for breakfast, we stopped off at a service station, they had so many cereal bars, and I was like, yay, amazing. I went and looked at the back of them all. They're kind of, they don't say they're healthy, but we're kind of tricked into thinking that they're healthy, and they had so much sugar in. We're talking a 25 gram small bar had like 17 grams of sugar in. That is just ridiculous. I mean, I am not someone who is refined sugar free. I like sugar, but if I'm gonna eat my sugar, I'm all about having my sugar in the right way. So I'll have a bar of chocolate, or I'll have a hot chocolate, or I'll have a big slice of cake. I just do not believe in sugar within something that's posing to be healthy. So when I am having snacks, I make sure I have a naked bar, or at the moment I'm loving deliciously Ella balls because they're completely natural. Yes, these things do come up as having sugar in, but there's a little star on the ingredients because it's natural sugars. So if it's occurring from natural sugars, e.g. honey and fruits, I'd rather have that than have a cereal bar that's just loaded in sugar. I mean, how can a cereal bar have so much sugar in? That just offends me. Similar to pasta sauces, I always make my own pasta sauce. It is so easy. Literally get some tomatoes, blend them up or mix them in a pan, add some herbs, you pretty much have a pasta sauce. It's the easiest thing you will ever make, a tomato pasta sauce. But apparently the ones in the supermarket have so much sugar in. So I just think there's tiny things you can do that make losing weight or staying trim so much easier because just make tiny choices like that. So that takes me on to point number four, small choices. Little things like not having fizzy drinks three times a day, or opting for water, or getting gin over white wine. I mean, I do love wine, but I do tend to go for red wine now just because it's got a few more antioxidants in, apparently. Obviously, gin's bad for your liver, so it's all about balance. But I am really trying to kind of make healthy choices where I can. I feel that if you make healthy choices most of the time, then you're allowed to just have pizza and cake the rest of the time, and that is totally fine. And this is how I live my life. 
That takes me on to point number five, which is the 80-20 rule. Now, if you read my blog, you will know I am all about the 80-20 rule. That basically means being good 80% of the time, and then you can treat yourself the other 20% of the time. So for the 80% of the time, I'll leave a video below to show you what I eat. I'll just eat good things, healthy things. I don't deprive myself. It's not bad to eat healthy. Healthy eating is nice. I feel good for eating healthy. I love my vegetables, my chicken, fresh fish, really nice fresh food, Greek yogurt with berries, for example. But then I don't deprive myself. So this is my next point. Never, ever, ever deprive yourself. I was once told if you deprive yourself, that's it. You're then going to binge. So if you're like, oh my God, I'm on a diet. By the way, I hate the word diet. Diet is like a banned word. When people tell me they're dieting, I'm like, no, don't diet because that automatically sends like a signal to your head that's saying, I'm dieting, I'm restricting myself. Oh my gosh, I can't have that. I used to do it when I was younger. I was like, I'm on a diet. You're not on a diet. It's a lifestyle choice. You're eating healthy. You're choosing to be healthier. And it's a really positive life lifestyle choice and it means that you can have balance in your life. So it means that on a Saturday night, if people are having pizza, you can have pizza because you've worked out, you've eaten well for most of the week, so pizza is not gonna kill you, pizza's not gonna make you fat. Just make sure you work out the next week, continue moving more, and just eating well for the rest of the week. And I think, actually, I've read on Facebook and on a few blog posts, people talking about how, why do we call these things kind of like treats and cheat days? And I guess it's right, a Mars bar isn't a bad thing. Pancakes with loaded with chocolate, it's not a bad thing, it's just something you should have in moderation. So we need to stop looking at things that are naughty as naughty, because yes, they're full of fat and sugar, but we can still have them, particularly if you're working out loads. I mean, I work out five times a week. My body is like, hmm, I want a chocolate bar. And I'm not gonna deprive my body because then that's when I binge. So I just think it's really important to realize that balance is essential. If you want a chocolate bar, that is totally fine. If I wanna have a chocolate bar, that's fine. I'll go and have a chocolate bar. I'll just make sure that I go to spin the next day and then I don't feel guilty about it. But you shouldn't ever feel guilty for eating anything. Anyway, it's all about moderation. So next point, I feel like we're on number six, number seven now totally lost count walk everywhere use your legs this is the one thing I do to really make sure that I'm kind of optimizing my body when I'm busy I'm running around meetings in London and I'm stressing out because I've not been to the gym I've had a few days off so so I decide to just walk between my meetings yeah it might be a 30 minute walk but if I power walk I can do it in 20 and it's just so much better we have legs use them my mum's always said that to me she's always said try and use your legs when you can and i feel like walking is so underrated so i really do try and walk places even if when i was younger i'd get off the bus to stop earlier obviously please do not put yourself in any kind of danger but i also always get the stairs when i'm in the tube i'd always walk up rather than standing just because i feel like my body needs to move that takes me on to my next point which is once this becomes part of your life and daily habit it's kind of addictive and you're like, oh my gosh, I need to do some exercise, I need to eat well. For me, I crave broccoli, I know. The girl who is obsessed with Pringles, I'll admit that, craves broccoli. My body cries out and it's like, you know what? I really want a crunchy salad. In fact, I was on a night out with my friend Kaylee, and I remember her laughing at me so much because we were sat in this restaurant. So we'd had a few gins and I was like, I just really want a crunchy salad. And I'm really not a salad girl. I like like a lot of food. I like to feel like I'm full, but sometimes we just crave like that green stuff and I think it's nice when you be it becomes such a part of your life, healthy living, that it's totally normal for you to order broccoli rather than fries, basically. So I think it's really important to realise that this is a lifestyle choice, it's not a diet, it's not a fad, once you stick with the kind of 80-20 rule, it's something that is part of you. For example, it feels weird for me if I don't exercise, like I just need to exercise, it clears my mind, it's the one hour a day. I don't see exercise as a chore, I see exercise as a way to clear my mind and I sweat in the gym and I look horrendous but after I think this isn't about how I look in the gym, this is how I'm going to feel within myself. I don't particularly go to the gym to lose weight, I go to the gym because it makes me feel amazing and also it does allow me to eat. So yeah, I just love working out and I think everyone can learn to love working out because it makes you feel so good. Why wouldn't you love something that makes your body feel so strong? Speaking of bodies, just a quick one. This is really interesting. So I go to David Lloyd gyms and my next point is that body weight does not mean health or unhealthy, if that makes sense. So I stepped on the scales and I avoid the scales. I don't believe in the scales and this is why. Stepped on the scales and they told me I gained weight. So it kind of um, maps my progress. And on my progress com body composition score thing, it was like, yeah, you've gone up 
And I was a bit disheartened, I was like, what? Oh, maybe it's because I went to the Maldives, I've actually put weight on, wow. But then I looked, and my muscle percentage had gone up, and my body fat had dropped down, but my weight had gone up. So that is the old thing, that muscle weighs more than fat. So I hadn't gained fat, I'd actually lost body fat, but my weight had gone up due to muscle, so that just goes to show, don't weigh yourself, because you're just going to torment yourself, and actually, weighing yourself is really not a good indicator of your health anymore, so just don't do it. I could have left the gym feeling really rubbish if I'd have just stepped on some scales, but by looking into it further, I realised, actually, I've not gained any weight. I've toned up, is making me weigh more. So I guess I just want to end by saying, I don't care what people weigh, I literally do not care anything about that. For me, it's all about happiness and health, and I think once you establish body confidence, feeling happy and feeling healthy, then everything else follows. So for me, little things like, if I want some Pringles, I'm gonna have the Pringles. If I want some Pick and Mix, I'm gonna have the Pick and Mix. But it is about balance. And as I said, once it becomes part of your everyday routine or your life, for example, even if you're just walking to the bus stop and you power walk for 30 minutes on the morning, that is better than nothing. Like I said, it's all just about moving a little bit more and eating better, never eat less, just eat better. Your body doesn't want to be deprived. I always say to people, use your body as a car. A lot of people skip breakfast, and my mum always brought me up to never skip breakfast. Your body is a car, and your body needs fuel. You need fuel to do the things. I was actually told by a personal trainer at David Lloyd that even if we're doing nothing all day, our bodies are burning energy just by doing bodily functions. So you need to fuel that car. And the better you fuel it, the more efficiently you'll perform. So I think if you start looking at your car, as at your car, at your body as a car, and you realise you really need to put that petrol in, fuel it up, then you'll be good to go. So I really hope this helps. Just a little kind of my thoughts about fitness. I think, yeah, Instagram is a wonderful tool, but it can be dangerous sometimes. People talk about fad diets and fad shakes and all of this stuff and I'm all about 80-20, balance, moderation, no fad diets, say goodbye to the scales, say goodbye to fads. And if you want some genuine help, speak to someone who is a professional. But thank you so much for watching. I'd love to know in the comments how you feel about health and fitness. What's your kind of thoughts towards all of this? And leave any com video suggestions below as well because I want to film some more stuff for you guys. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.